is Joaquin Asitka. Um, this is going to be video number two for vocal alchemy for cultivating vitality. I just talked a little bit about what it feels like to be depleted and to be have have experience of um, energy depletion, but what does it feel like to be revitalized? What does it feel like to be to have sort of vi revitalized the body, revitalized your creativity? What does it What does it look like to you? What does it feel like? I know what it feels like to me. Um, I have on a regular basis. I can be very clear. Like I could be really spacey and tired, lethargic. I could be feeling really depleted, and um, and then I can go and make a conscious choice to, for example, go ride my bicycle down to the nearby park, and then ride my bicycle back up the hill, sweat my butt off, and jump in a cold shower and start chanting. And then that kickstarts my energy system. It's like all of a sudden like my energy, my life force, my vitality comes back into play. When before I went on the bicycle ride, I may have been feeling um, maybe stuck in my head, maybe depressed, maybe a little bit depleted, um, just foggy, drained. And um, but once I got on my body, moved around, got my on my bicycle, did that cold plunge and chanted and all that stuff, it's like all this creative energy comes in, all of this vitality, all the, like people start calling me, all of this stuff just going bling bling bling. I get paid for my work and all of these things are clicking in place when when I was feeling depleted nothing was clicking into place and I was feeling drained and it was because I, of my own choices my own patterns and so I always find the voice remarkable in its ability to be super important in in that in the aid of that revitalization because you would think you know we're we're basically taught in this culture that the voice specifically singing is predominantly used for performance not for longevity cultivation not for awareness not for alchemy not for um, increased empowerment or liberation you think of using the voice for singing a beautiful song. And yes, when you do sing a beautiful song, you feel this rush of energy, this like rush of like excitement, this rush of bliss. Well, you, you can feel that rush of excitement, bliss, and vitality that sort of like surges back into you, whether you sing in front of an audience, whether you're in front of millions of people, or you're just in front of the mirror. People get high off of singing for a reason. It's because their spirit is coming through. You're circulating your creative energy. You're opening the flow, the vertical flow that comes from the spirit, it comes from the celestial realm, comes through your consciousness. You become a conduit for, for that creative energy. You open your body up. You open your throat. Your throat is literally like central to this channel that wants to be open in terms of your inner being. And so you are being fed. Your body-mind system is being fed by this clear channel of creative energy that is coming through you, that is coming through your voice when you sing, when you use your voice. And you can open that channel just by toning, just by doing the simple breath work, doing the perineum breathing, and letting out a sigh. <sighs> but what I like to do, and what I have been doing, is I do a qigong practice and a breathwork practice, a guided meditation practice. I do that with myself on a pretty much a daily basis. Some days I miss it. But I do my practice and I always include movement. I always include connecting with the earth. I always include breathwork, stretching, opening my body, you know, doing these like hip opening movements really like stretching, moving my body. 
but I'm always using the voice in conjunction with all of these body-based, breathwork-based practices. So when I go and I start stretching and breathing, I'm using my voice too. Like basically, I, the three are interwoven. Uh, I, I see um, a quiet asana, a quiet yoga asana practice without using the voice is like incomplete. If you're, if you're doing yoga and you're not doing your breath work and you're not sounding or like toning, going deep, you're not actualizing the full potential of of your self-cultivation practice. And that's what the vocal alchemy is about. It's about merging those um, those kinds of self-cultivation practices with breath work and sounding. And, and it's really because using the voice helps you get your mind out of the way and helps you to basically take your mind and just go okay distracting self self-limiting belief system thoughts i'm going to just set you aside for a while and i'm going to take my consciousness i'm going to take my mind and i'm going to focus my consciousness fully on the vibration fully on the sound fully on the resonance the quality of the pitch the harmony the tone, the tonality. Focus just on the tone when you're sounding. Let that be the whole center of your conscious awareness. And so, that's one of the main reasons why it helps, it aids in this sort of guided practice of helping you align your energy body. And, um, and it's, and of course, your creative energy, which can be, you can open your creative energy through any op, through many outlets, but opening it through your voice is definitely a huge way that you can open a creative energy channel that's related to your sexual energy, that's related to your vitality, that's related to your nervous system and your vitality. And so, so I just want to ask you to take a minute with me. And um, do some toning with me during this last minute of the video. And uh, sort of get into your body, relax. Then you take a deep breath in. Ha na 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 oh. Ha na na hey oh. Hanana ho, Hanana he, Hanana ho, Hanana he, Hanana ho, Hanana he, Hanana ho, Hanana he, Hanana ho, Hanahe o, 